So there are a few lingering issues of intolerance left in the United States of America, but there's one bright spot out there, and that's gay rights. In just a few short years, we've seen legalized same-sex marriage, the end of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and... <laughs> and... and the mainstream acceptance of brunch. But... <laughs> But not everyone has been won over. Take Texas Congressman and soft-boiled egg Louis Gohmert. <laughs> Recently, on the floor of Congress, Gohmert tackled the pressing issue of gays in space. You're wanting to save humankind for posterity. Basically, a modern-day Noah. Okay, we've got a spaceship. They can go, as Matt Damon did in the movie, plant a colony somewhere. If you could decide what 40 people you put on the spacecraft that would save humanity, how many of those would be same-sex couples? Oh, I know that one. I know that one. <laughs> can I? Yes. I looked it up in the Bible, and uh, this is true. There were actually only eight people on Noah's Ark. And they repopulated the entire world, which means, by his own logic, the remaining 32 people on Louis Gohmert's space arc could be gay, gay, gay. <laughs> Still work. And if that happened, only two years after it launched, that spaceship would be the most expensive neighborhood in the galaxy. <laughs> By the way, I don't even know why we're making this distinction, because after six months on a spaceship, everybody's gay. <laughs> free for all. It's a free for all. I mean, Representative Gohmert, have you seen the movie The Fifth Element? Everyone dresses like Lady Gaga and loves European <laughs> disco opera. <laughs> That is the gayest outer space movie since Luke and Han Solo's wedding at the end of Star Wars. They look so happy. So happy.